good morning children how are you all today we are going to learn about types of fruits okay yesterday you already finished fruits and vegetables right hmm? identify if something is a fruit or vegetable that you learned yesterday today we are going to learn types of fruits today's aim is classify fruits based on various attributes that means based on number of seeds shape of seed skin is edible or not fleshy or not in this basis we are going to classify fruits okay today's keywords are fruit pulp pod fleshy what is the meaning of pulp pulp mean the soft part of a fruit fleshy means what fleshy means a fruit that has pulp here you can see fruits we classify into fleshy fruits and dry fruits <coughs> how we are classifying it fleshy fruits means pulp will be there dry fruits no pulp children what are the different types of fruits have you seen and eaten in your life today we will look at different fruits and find how they are different from each other now we can compare some fruits and find similarities and differences we will discuss the difference between fleshy and dry fruits here you can see some fruits lemon watermelon apple papaya orange guava mango groundnut and peas what did you see inside the fruits yes you learn already seeds are there inside the fruits right this lemon watermelon and apple are similar how they are similar they have skin on the outside and a softer inside here you can see softer inside here also here also you can see softer inside we eat this soft inside this is called pulp what is pulp children the soft part of a fruit that is called pulp inside the pulp we can see seeds fruits store food for the plant and protect the seeds fruits have different colors size and shapes some fruits have soft part which can be eaten this is the soft part which can be eaten see this is the soft part these fruits are called fleshy fruits example for fleshy fruits are papaya orange apple lemon watermelon guava mango see these fruits fruits that do not have pulp are called dry fruits these are dry fruits the pea is different from mango because it does not have pulp the fruit looks like a shell or pod which has seeds we eat the seed of the fruit so what is dry fruits children fruits that do not have pulp are called dry fruits example for dry fruits are walnuts groundnuts and almonds so fruits are classified into fleshy fruits and dry fruits fleshy fru fruits pulp is there dry fruits no pulp children can you name some other fruits that are similar to apple lemon and peas 
how are apple and papaya different from each other how is lemon different from apple and papaya we learned to group fruits into fleshy fruits and dry fruits fleshy fruits are fruits that have pulp apple papaya and lemon are few examples of fruit with a pulp dry fruits have no pulp and usually the fruit look like a pod shell or nut here we can see children how else we can classify fruits we can classify fruits based on its skin skin is edible or not here guava we are eating alone with its skin because its skin is soft like that mango also here you can see papaya and orange what about these fruits can we eat its skin no its skin is hard so we cannot eat it we are eating only pulp similarly orange also lemon watermelon these fruits skin is hard so we are not eating we are we will not eat the skin what about apple how else can we classify fruits we can classify fruits based on their color shape and size fruits can be classified on the basis of whether they come in groups like grapes or single like an apple they can also be classified based on their seeds for example based on the number of seeds one few and many children how can we classify fruits based on various attributes we can classify based on color shape size number of seeds one or many skin can be eaten or not fruits are fleshy fruits or dry fruits can you take out your workbook s for types of fruits what is the first question both lemons and oranges are fruits how else are they similar how they are similar oranges and lemons are fruits that is one similarity how else are they similar they are similar they both are fleshy fruits you can write and it's uh, taste you can write number of seeds you can write accordingly you can find out the similarity question number 2 sort the following in two groups you can group it according to number of seeds edible or not fleshy fruit or dry fruit any basis you can group it and which basis you classified you have to mention here question number 3 write three different ways in which fruits can be sorted based on their seeds can be sorted based on number of seeds shape and size of seeds edible or not its texture any ways you can sort it any three ways you can write here okay children thank you